hey what's up guys welcome back to my dart tutorials and in this video we are going to learn more about dart so we will focus on the algorithms which are the most important part of any programming language and uh, everybody wants to learn it and uh, because uh, sometimes we don't understand exactly how this works so that is why we are going to understand a little bit of about algorithm in this video so first uh, we will focus on linear search and then we will see how to you know um, actually implement binary search yeah so we have this uh, uh, this uh, main dot dart here where we don't have that much code and uh, I'm making this video so that you can understand dart very well and uh, because uh, you have to go through the real world scenario so it will be good if you can see some examples and also it will help in uh, the understanding of algorithms okay so this is right now you can see we did the uh, link video so in that particular example only i am making another um, suppose dart file here so we can create a new dart file which we can name as uh, let's say search okay so we will perform the searching here and maybe in future video we will also see how to perform sorting so here we have this main dot dart okay and in the main dot dart let's say we have a list okay and uh, it has some numbers like say 0 2 5 8 10 12 15 30 okay we have these um, eight numbers in this list and now we don't uh, right now it is uh, some kind of you know a raw list or you can say this is hard coded list but suppose we want to um, get the list from the user okay or and there can be any kind of list and we want to perform such some search on it so suppose we want to see if there is a number 8 in this list okay so as uh, you are a human you can see that there is a number 8 but computer does not understand until we perform some operations on it okay because uh, right now it is just visible to us okay but computer it, this computer does not know or this program does not know right now with before compilation okay that what's in the list okay and uh, whatever you want the result to be you have to tell to this particular uh, program that uh, you want this result okay so as you can see we have this these numbers from 0 to 30 and we want to see or we want to check that if there is number 8 present if it is present what is the index of that number okay so in programming if you don't know then let me just tell you that everything starts from a zeroth position okay so suppose this zero number is at number uh, is at position zero then is this two number is at position one then it is uh, the five is on two so similarly this is how we take the position or the index okay so this is our list now we will see how to perform uh, linear search on it okay so if you see this example this is what we have okay now we want to perform that uh, uh, if there is a number 8 in this series okay so let's say uh, let me just write n is equal to 8 which means we want to find 8 okay so in linear search what we will do we will go from the start which means we will take this uh, 0 okay and we will check whether it is equal to 8 or not okay so if it is equal to 8 then we will return index of this which will be 0 okay so it is not equal to 8 then we will move further okay and now we will go back to this 2 and then we will check if this 2 is equal to 8 if it is then we will return the index as 1 okay and if it is not then we will move further now we will check whether this 5 is equal to 8 if it is then we will take the index otherwise we will move further then we will see if this 8 is equal to 8 and yes it is so then now we can finally return the index which is let's say 3 okay and it is actually 3 so uh, that's what we can do let me just okay, it. okay so this is how linear search uh, works okay 
so now it is it might be visible so this is how linear search works and as soon as we find the number then we can return that particular index okay suppose the number is uh, um, let's say 16 and that's not inside this list as we can see but uh, as I told you that this program does not understand what we see okay it will only understand what what operations you are performing and uh, then how the result comes okay so it will go from this 0 to 2 to 5 to 8 to 10 to 12 15 and 30 after searching every number then it will make sure that uh, there is not this number 16 so then we can return that we did not find the result okay so what we can do now to perform this uh, linear search we will perform we will call a linear search method and this method we are going to pass this list okay and also we are going to pass the number which we want to search okay now we don't have this method so we will make this method so in the search dot dart we are going to make a method which will return a string if it will found the number otherwise it will return a string saying that uh, it could not find any number okay and here we can name it as linear search okay and then we will have the same list here okay and uh, what you can do you can also make it like this so that you know this will be much better so because we have all the integers as of now so this will be good okay and now we have this list and we have a number which is let's say x okay so as i told you we will start from the first number and we will go to the end okay so what we can do here we can have a loop here where we can have an integer i which is initially zero which means the position is zero okay and this i will go to uh, the list dot length and it it should be less than that so what is the length of this list so one two three four five six seven eight eight is the length so what it will do so the value of i should be less than this length okay so it should be less than eight so it can be from zero to seven because our index is always um uh, you can say less than uh, less than by the number by one okay so suppose this is our first number so our index will be one minus one which is zero so if it is the second number then our index will be uh, uh, second minus one which is one so our index will be one okay so this is how we are going to implement this so our i should be less than list dot length okay which means right now the length of the list is eight so i should be less than seven okay which is suppose uh, it will go beyond this point 15 okay and uh, yeah so um, this is what we have so and we can also write less than equal to because we have to compare this particular item as well okay so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so it it should be less than equal to 7 okay or um, yeah that's fine I guess okay now we will increase the i by plus 1 so we can write i plus plus or you can also write i plus 1 so that's both are fine okay now what we want to do and we can also you know try run it after we will have some result okay now we want to see if this x which we have the number is equal to list of this i okay so in this suppose the first the number uh, the i will be 0 so list of 0 would be 0 and then it will be uh, plus 1 which means i would be 1 then the list of 1 would be 2 so x would be equal to equal to 2 so if this is the case we can say return found x at okay and now uh, we can write index and then we can give the value of this uh, uh, i okay then it will be fine okay so found x at index i 
if this x equal to equal to this list type else or after this loop ends and we don't find anything then we can return just not found okay yeah so now if i will just uh, import this search dot dart now we can run it and we can see that found x at index 3 okay and now let's say uh, our number is let's say um, something like 30 then also we will see if this finds the result and as you can see found x at index 7 okay and now let's try to search something else let's say 31 and if I will search it then you can see invalid value not in range 0 to 7 okay so inclusive 8 so that means that we have made a mistake here and it should be just uh, less than list dot length because we went out of the range and it was trying to access the seventh element okay the seventh one which is actually if you see 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then when it was trying to do i plus plus it was actually not in the list okay so it should be less than list dot length that is fine that's why i made this mistake so that you can see that uh, this can be also the scenario now if we will run it then you will see not found okay now um we have this 31 let's uh, make it 12 and let's see if this works and again if you will see found x at index 5 and uh, let's say make it 11 so oh wait a second not found okay so this is how you can perform linear search and we also you know uh, talk about here this space complexity and time complexity when we work with algorithms i will make a separate video on that but for the time being you can understand that um, here in the linear search we can write that time complexity complexity for the linear search is big o n okay so this is the uh, time complexity for linear search which is um, big o n and this is not good okay so to uh, you know there is a better algorithm for um, improving this time complexity if you don't understand what is the time complexity don't worry i will uh, discuss about it in some other video not in this video but i guess if you are um, listening to this algorithm or you are watching this algorithm video then you should know about the complexity but otherwise if you don't know just understand the concepts first and then we will focus on the complexity part okay in some other video okay so we have this uh, uh, linear search working now now let's talk about uh, the binary search okay how it is efficient and uh, how we can perform binary search okay so suppose this is the list and now we have to find a number 10 okay in this list using binary search then how we can do it okay so suppose this is the list first of all what we will do we will take a minimum number and a maximum number okay so minimum number would be always zero and uh, initially and maximum number would be whatever the lists last number okay so or or you can take the minimum um uh, the we want actually the not the number we want the position okay so minimum position would be zero and maximum position would be the lists uh, last numbers position okay so let me just correct myself so we we are dealing with positions okay so uh, here in this case suppose we want to access that then we can say minimum is equal to zero okay and max maximum number which we are talking about so here we have um, eight elements so max uh, position would be 7 okay so if you see the list length is 8 that means the index would be last index would be 7 so 8 minus 1 which is 7 so minimum 0 and maximum 7 okay now we found uh, we will find the mid of this particular uh, series okay so 0 to 7 what will be the uh, mid position okay middle position okay so if you will um, take uh, if you will see this number 
then 7 plus 0 is equal to uh, 7 and by 2 is equal to 4 point or 3.5 okay then you can take 3 or 4 whatever your choice is suppose we don't have this 30 now the list length is 7 and now max would be 6 now if we want to find the mid of it so what we can do we can write something like 0 plus 6 0 plus 6 by 2 which is equal to 3 then we will take the index 3 which is 0 1 2 3 so this will be our index is 8 okay now using this we will check whether the number is less than this or greater than this or equal to this so if you will see so 10 is uh, greater than this 8 okay and to perform binary search one thing we have to make sure that our list is sorted okay which means the number should not be like uh, randomly picked it should be sorted sorted which, which means the series there should be a series I, either uh, uh, you can say in decreasing number or in increasing number there should be uh, sorting somehow okay and right now we are focusing on on the increasing number series okay so if you will see this series goes from 0 to 15 and there is every other number is greater than the last number or the uh, initially the list which is going on the number the, suppose this 8 is always greater than the 0 2 and 5 this 10 is always greater than so the list is sorted and if it is not then we will also um, talk about some sorting algorithms in future and we will see how to sort them but suppose for this video we are concentrating on the binary search so we are um, letting that uh, this list is sorted okay now let's go back there so we were finding this 10 and here we have numbers from 0 to 15 then we found the min and max now mid is 3 and the num uh, number at position 3 is 8 now we are checking if it is greater than 10 or not or it is equal to 10 so it is not equal to 10 obviously now uh, the number 10 this is greater than 8 which means we will just uh, you know uh, we we don't care about these numbers which is below uh, before 8 okay so we now just only cares about these numbers which is after 8 okay so what we will do now because 10 is greater than uh, 8 so we will change the min's position from 0 to 3 plus 1 okay which means uh, now the min position would be 4 okay so let's make it 4 because earlier the position was 0 now mid is 3 and the number is beyond this 3 so the min will be 4 and max would be 6 okay now uh, we will again say uh, 4 plus 6 which is 10 and 10 by 2 is equal to 5 so now our mid is 5 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 so now our mid is 12 okay so this is our mid this 12 one second now we will check if n is equal to this 12 or not so 10 is not equal to 12 but either it will be less than this or it will be greater than this so it is now less than this so what we will do now we will reduce the max to 5 minus 1 okay so uh, this is 5 and 5 minus 1 would be 4 so now our min is 4 and our max is 4 so 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 and 8 by 2 is equal to also 4 so now everything is 4 so the fourth number is this 10 0 1 2 3 and 4 now n is 10 and number is also 10 so 10 is equal to 10 which means we have the number okay so this is how we will perform and if you see how it is efficient then we never compared these elements because we always knew that the 10 is after this 8 okay so we only cared about this this particular portion not this portion so that is how we uh, somehow uh, improved our algorithm okay because we didn't have to go through every number so suppose this is a very small list but we have some hundred numbers and we have to check whether our number is present or not 
so we have to go through all the hundred numbers until we find it and suppose it is the hundredth one then we have to go through every number but in case of binary search at least uh, we can distribute those numbers in half half and then we can just perform the algorithm um, efficiently okay so now let's see how to do this in the code so now we can print uh, let's say binary search and then we will have a list okay and then let's say the number is 10 okay and now we will make another method here in this search and uh, we can say binary search okay it will again take the number as uh, first of all the list it will take the list as a parameter and then the number okay and yeah now let me just copy this so uh, the time complexity for the binary search is big O and log n okay and again I will explain this if you don't understand this so please just let me know and I'll, I'll definitely uh, talk about it in the other video because it is again a, a very uh, like uh, one video topic so we'll focus on that okay so now we have this binary search here now first of all as I told you if you will see here we have to take the min and max so min this so the uh, min, min number for this is 0 or you can say min position is 0 and the max would be list dot length minus 1 okay so this will be our max now we will have to perform this algorithm until min is less than equal to max okay which means suppose th this is the minimum number so it should be either less than max or equal to max it cannot be greater than max otherwise it, it, it is not mean okay now what we will do first of all we need to find this middle number okay so we can say mid uh, or we can say int mid is equal to min plus max by 2 okay and then what we can do we can either uh, floor it or, or we can seal it okay it's totally your choice because if uh, there are six numbers then obviously you can find a middle number uh, which will have an integer value but if it has seven elements then the output would be 3.5 and then you can take either 3 or 4 it's totally your choice so I am taking it as a floor okay now we have this mid number now we can check if x is equal to is equal to list of mid okay if it is then we are just going to copy this and we can say at this mid okay otherwise what what can be the scenario um, this x could be less than this list of mid okay so if this is less than so suppose x is less than this list of mid so in our case it is actually greater than but uh, suppose this uh, 10 is less than 8 so what we will do we will just decrease the maximum number maximum position from uh, list dot length mi minus 1 to list of mid minus 1 because now the if x is less than list of mid that means the maximum number reside uh, uh, is before this mid okay so this is what we can do otherwise suppose if it, the number x is greater than list of mid then we can change the min from 0 to list dot mid plus 1 okay so this will be the scenario and if nothing actually uh, works then we can say return not found that means there is not that number okay so this is what I already explained you and now this is how I am uh, making this algorithm so we let me just uh, repeat it again we uh, then we started with a minimum position 0 then the maximum position was list dot length minus 1 which is in this case 7 or, or 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 which is in this case um, 6 okay not 6 3 3 6 oh yeah 6 so uh, maximum is 6 and now 
uh, and in this case I guess we can remove this because uh, it is we are taking just six numbers here seven numbers here okay so now maximum position is six now we checked until and unless this minimum is less than or equal to max then we are finding the mid position and how we can find it min plus max by two and then we can find the floor if it is in the uh, double or if the return return value is double then we can either floor it or seal it okay uh, and then we are checking if it is equal to this uh, list of mid then obviously we found the x at index mid otherwise we will check if it is less than this then we will change the max uh, position and if it is greater than a uh, list of mid then obviously we will change the min position and this is how it will work now let's uh, import it again and now let's run this okay we got some error let's see what did we okay so one second. yeah now let's run this again and now you can see not found so this 10 is not found why this happened because uh, it should be found right otherwise uh, what's the uh, it is not found why it is happening let me just go through the code again and this is fine everything is fine here we can just check if x is less than this then we change the mid okay sorry so we change this we have to just uh, use this mid not list of mid okay because we just want to increase the position and we have already the position so now if we will run it okay again we got some issue here 0 to 6 and uh, what's what's happening actually not in range it is saying not in range why this is actually happening okay so max is mid minus 1 if x is less than this and the min is mid plus 1 that is fine I guess minimum is 0 and uh, max is list dot length minus 1 okay let's uh, make it list dot length and we'll see okay this should not be this is fine so there is some issue with this code let's see what's the issue so we have this list we have to find this 10 we went in this search we have this minimum as 0 initially then we have uh, the max then we are checking this 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 okay and I guess this is fine right if x is less than this uh, list of mid then we are just uh, checking that uh, this max should be equal to mid minus 1 that is fine I don't think there is a problem in this maybe we can seal it or we can check if this works not it does not work why this is happening um okay so we made some kind of mistake and now okay so in this situation what we can do we can debug it and we can see what's the actually issue so let's just uh, go through the code and min is 0 max is now uh, 6 which is fine list size is 7 and x is 10 so we got here we found the mid now mid is 3 which is fine now x is actually greater than this mid obviously that is also fine so now min is greater than this which is uh, now min is what now min is 4 that is fine okay so now um, we went through the list again and now okay so now mid is 7 okay this is also fine I guess and then because mid is 7 that is why it is sending it is giving us the error because um, total list is very much bigger than that right so it should be 6 and 6 plus 4 is 10 and 10 by 2 okay so so actually what is happening guys we our algorithm is fine the problem is 
that it is performing here the um, divide first and then the uh, ad addition so that's what we didn't want it so now let's just run this after fixing it and you can see found exit index 4 which is fine okay so you can stuck somewhere like this can be some things which you can miss so this is how you will fix it and now let's just uh, change this number from let's say 15 now we can see the output yeah found exit index 6 now change the number like let's say 30 and now if we will run it then you can see not found okay so the problem here with us was that we were um, we didn't have this extra parenthesis that's why what it was doing it was first uh, dividing this max by 2 and then it was adding it to min but actually we wanted to perform the um, addition first and then we wanted to divide it by 2 so I hope that uh, you were able to understand this binary search and this linear search and uh, we also saw that what kind of issue we can face uh, during this uh, algorithm part and it is very easy um, but you have to just dry run and you can think about it and please write it somewhere whenever you perform algorithm so that you can understand what's actually happen happening and uh, you can perform some uh, row operation on that and then you will understand the algorithms and as you can see we can have some issues <laughs> and uh, obviously so uh, i will upload this code on github as well and you can check it out there the link will be in the description and then in next video maybe we will focus on some sorting as well so i hope you enjoyed if you did then please like this video subscribe to the channel if you are not the subscriber already and i'll see you in the next video bye bye